We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on this beautiful Sunday afternoon for the Noted Game Report Ubisoft 4 coverage. I am, of course, Trex, and alongside me is... The man, the myth, the... Uh, what what's the way to describe someone who fucking falls all the time? Uh, the Tumblr, Stevie B. The man, the myth, the Tumblr, Stevie B. How's everyone doing tonight? Steppy B. Are they? Steppy B. I'm used to... Steppy B, that's rude as fuck. Uh, I'm used <laughs> to saying tonight, because y'all, this is night. How's everyone doing today on this beautiful Sunday? Now, I'm sure... Okay, so a lot of questions were happening in, in the chat during the intro. All right, live quite everybody's f- first off, there's the general concern if I'm okay after that tumble I took at Trexas. Uh uh yes, I'm I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Uh is is uh is is Carlin Carnage's desk okay? That's the question you gotta ask. Because C V slid and then just like took that desk out uh right right along with it, slid right across that wooden floor of Trex's apartment, just like whoo, right. But uh no, I'm okay. Uh, I've obviously over over the course uh, of of uh, of time, I've learned how to take a fall, and I just fell right into it. I just like, all right, here we go, yeah. and just boom. It was very professional. Right. Thank. I appreciate that. Uh, the the person, the people that we generally need to be concerned for are the uh, the the downstairs neighbors of trucks. I'm sure at this point they develop PTSD. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. No, I'm I'm fine. Uh, and, and of course, there was the concern about my bowels and all the spiciness that I was eating on Saturday. Well, uh, 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 I'll have to inform you that they haven't made their course uh, quite yet, I, I don't believe. Uh, so that is uh, still to be determined. Um, I'm not quite sure uh, what it was. I, I don't understand how a realist could just sit there and do what you did. And then everybody, I think everybody was just trying to act hard to make me look like more of a bitch. I think is what was happening there. Uh, I, I mean, uh, to be fair, uh, it succeeded. Um, yeah, Elena's reactions uh, to me said, "Okay, I'm not crazy," uh, because she she attempted to take it like a champ as well. Uh, and then at some point, you could see her in the back sitting down, just trying to maintain, as I was. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're all fine. And again, we appreciate all your support, uh, especially this year. This year, the stream has come a long way. Uh, you know, thanks to everybody. Uh, and and let, let's 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 not joke around. Let's be honest with each other. You know, uh, we share a lot of the same community with Trex. So uh, I appreciate all of you, even everybody at Trex community. Uh, we really do. I love and appreciate all the support. There you go. Uh, that's my that, that's my that's my opening spiel. I want to know why Trex uh, isn't eating one. Well, Trex couldn't go. Um, and, and and to be fair, like me and Trex do the game report. Um, uh, you know, he joins in on that stuff a lot of times, uh, yeah. but yeah, <laughs> he joins in on that stuff a lot of times, but, uh, he just wasn't there for, to do at that time. So, uh, don't worry. We'll get Trex to do something at some point. Uh, and, and let's be fair. He, he, uh, kissed a dude for the stream. So, you know what I mean? Like he literally kissed a dude in the mouth. Uh, so, uh, lips. I mean, it was, it was the lips. Well, lips on the mouth. Like I kiss you on the list. Me kissing you in the mouth would be me Frenching. No, that's that's true. Okay, so there was no tongue action. Uh, but hey, uh, maybe 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 that's the next sub goal. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, not joking around. Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, oh, I mean? got you, Aaron. Oh damn it! Uh, <laughs> Trex's steps took out DB. They did. They they step fucking. Up. You can One listen. Step. Uh, that look, I go back and I play this, and that that sound, just the impact. It's uh, uh, the impact was just crazy. Um, Trex needs to have a red flashing light in his damn apartment that says "Watch your step." <laughs> Carl and I were discussing it. You went, hold on one second. Yeah. Uh, Obi went pee. You went pee in the potty all by yourself. Yeah. Very good. Did you put a smiley face, Nant? Yeah. Okay. Very good. You peeping on yourself? Yeah. Did mommy help you clean it up, or do you currently have pee pee on you? <laughs> you got pee pee on you right now? Um, I cleaned it. I cleaned Did it. you get pee pee on your shorts? Uh, no. Okay, you got pee pee on your leg, and you wiped it up. No. Like with his hand? 
No, with the two toilet paper. Okay. Are you currently dry? <laughs> he wa- I feel like you want to give your son a hug. Are you? Do you need any assistance from Daddy right now? Uh, no. No. Okay, just checking. Well, very good. I'm glad you cleaned up the pee pee. I love you. Whew. Okay. Yeah, he has. We we he has like uh Heather got one of those like marker stamps with a smiley face. Yeah. So every time he goes pee pee, like puts a smiley face on his arm. He's got like arms full of smiley faces. Um, and the other day he pooped on his own, but forgot to wipe his ass. So we're wor- we're working on it, everybody. Okay, uh, we're we're working on it. Um, yeah, we we love him to death. He's he's out he's out of control. Uh, <laughs> it's really yours. Uh, what? Oh, the kid? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's cute. Um, he's cute as hell. Uh, but he, he's, he's doing pretty good with body training. He's still, the problem, the, the biggest problem they have right now is when he takes naps in the day, he poops. Um, and so it's like, we were trying to get him out of that and he, uh, and he pees at night and we're trying to get him to wake up and go pee. And it's hard, it's hard to do that kind of stuff, but all in all, body training is going well. So, <sighs> sorry. I, I know you guys are getting a, a mouthful of Stevie B tonight. Uh, if, uh hey speaking of mouth, Hey, oh, well, I didn't mean that, but yeah, there you go. Hey, oh, uh, we also, um, the PC is still in shambles. I did, uh, the whole reason I went to Trex's house was to get the really? motherboard. So I got this, yeah, I got the motherboard. Um, I'm going to hook it up to the power supply, plug in the starter button on the case, and turn it on and see if it gets the same problem it had. That kind of will, that'll definitely determine if it's power supply or the motherboard so we can go from there. So ho- hopefully it's just the power supply because I've already got a warranty return on it. Uh, I've already got one shipping here. It'll be here Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, so hopefully that's okay because uh, uh, streaming might be able to happen from my old PC. But if you got, I don't like, I, t- I tell this every time. You guys remember, like, streaming was a fucking struggle. Trax remembers, like, all the bitching I did uh, about this old PC. I think they all do. I think Trax, I think Ari, everybody, like, I used to be like, fuck this fucking PC. And here I am back on it. So, <laughs> like, I, I had I had this, I had this string across a USB cord. Uh, to actually get the camera to work because the power distribution of the USB stuff fucking sucks on it. It's crazy. Anyway, anyway, Ubisoft forward Trex. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know what you're looking forward to. The only thing that you that like, if they don't show Trex is in full Trex rage mode, is that pirate game, Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones. Trex wants to get boned on this. Okay, on this game report, Trex wants to get boned in the skull. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey, uh, so yes. Uh, what am I looking forward to? To be honest with you, uh, I'm just optimistic that they're going to show me something I like. I really liked uh, uh, the Watch Dogs games as a whole, so I'm excited to see some more from this new Watch Dogs because it seemed uh, different. I don't know how I feel though about like the jumping from character character thing they showed before. Um, I'm just, I'm just big into, I, I like story driven games. This game could still be story driven, but I like, uh, I like bonding with the character I'm playing with, if that makes sense. Like Alan Pierce in the first game. Um, I haven't really played much of Watch Dogs 2. Uh, but like I play cause Watch Dogs 1 was, well, it wasn't what it was really marketed to be, but I still had a lot of fun with it. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about jumping from character to character. I mean, still, I'd be good. I'm still gonna give it a chance. But yeah, I like I uh, I like to have the one character. E- even games like um, uh, what's the PP game with the virus? Oh my gosh, my brain's not working. The PP game with the virus, and you get the guns. That's Division Two. Yes. Fuck. Why? I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Don't get mad at me. My brain function good. Talk function. Brain work now. Um. Yes, you still have your character and your avatar and you're playing it. I know it's like it's still built around your character, even though your character like doesn't really talk or anything. It, it, I don't know. So uh, I never played a game really like that where you jump from person to person. So it'd be interesting to uh, see how that plays out. But uh, either way, I'm excited to see what Ubisoft has to show us. See, we need a mini punishment when he flubs words. Oh my God, Aaron. No, we don't. Uh, stop agreeing with Ari. Yeah, so I hear you. So I'm watching the pre-show without sound of uh, going on right now. There's uh, we're about 12 minutes, 30 seconds left before the forward begins, and they're talking about the division two, yeah, little Easter eggs where they start off with these little rubber duckies, 
that folks were doing duck hunts, trying to find these duckies everywhere. And now they did these uh, uh, these plush bears. So now there's bears in the game that people are going bear hunting trying to find it. On what game are we talking about? Division 2. Oh, okay. Dub, 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 dub. Oh my god, yeah, like a dog collar thing? Will you st- No, electric shock? No! What well, what are you guys what are you guys talking about? Damn, Ari. Fuck. Okay, do you everybody needs to calm down. Electric shock. Whew. Like, whoa. <laughs> I know. You guys are you guys I, I have one, I bet you do. I I mean I'll send it to Heather. <laughs> I bet, well, I mean, if you send it to Heather, I won't use it on the stream. I'll use it for other things. Uh, I meant like a funny jelly bean or something. I know Aaron. I'm just messing. Uh, Aaron, that, you know what? Maybe, okay. Aaron, I can, I, I think I can get behind that. I think I, I can get a – not the, like, ridiculous spicy ones, but I think I might be able to get a bag of bean boozled, like the regular ones, uh, and do that. It'd be better than opening of Ghostbusters when Vank Vankman was sh- shocking that kid. <laughs> oh, good old Ghostbusters. Uh, uh what uh what what other games are they gonna be t- like the only two things that I know about uh really would be stuff on the division and Watch Dogs 3. Well, of course, and don't then forget they're gonna show uh, we'll get new. We'll probably get new information about Assassin's Creed Valhalla as well. That's uh, I, I forget Ubisoft does that. I should know that. <laughs> I mean, I know for certain they're not going to talk about anything of the recent res- resignations and firings. No uh, way. Or improper misconduct and everything. No, they, nah, man. Uh, they've already, and they've already we... made a statement that they will not be able to. This is all pre-recorded, so they're not going to be able to actually do any like pre-recorded thing like a, a message or anything and we're and of course a lot of people on twitter are like it's pre-recorded can you not pre-record something and then put something in front of the pre-record like who, well, who's yeah. running this thing <laughs> but yeah just in case for folks didn't know their cco resigned <laughs> from the company yesterday because of because of shit <laughs> Good old mis- good old uh, allegations and misconduct. Like holy shit! I think he even shocked ju- ju- us, our boy Snyder. What? Yeah, he uh, he he reported it. He tweeted about it. Uh, I want to say yesterday, and he was like, "Whoa!" Because he Scott was- Snyder? No, no, no. Um, Jason Schreider. I think- Oh, oh, Schreier? I thought you said Snyder. I was like, what I the fuck you got to do with any of this? I meant uh, Schreider. <laughs> I was like, what? The writer of Batman or the guy that directed Justice League? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, Schreier, yeah. Yeah, he tweeted, Whoa, Schreier. Ubisoft just announced that Serge Hoskowit, uh, the most powerful creative force at their company and the man at the center of multiple recent allegations involving abuse and abating abusers, is resigning. Bitch, bye. <laughs> Bitch, bye. Oh, oh, we just said it, you guys. <laughs> he just, he, he, oh. Did he just say "bitch, bye"? Did you guys hear that? Oh, we just repeated it. <laughs> I just, I like, got mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's, oh, it's, you... it's gonna happen now that Heather's gonna leave for the grocery store and leave you with him, and he's just gonna come out. Bitch, bye. I'm getting eyeballs. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, my bad. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> close the accordion door. It's soundproof. That's right. Oh, thank you for the chapstick. Are you guys about to go somewhere? No. Oh, you, oh, I thought you guys were on. All right. Well, you look beautiful. Thank you. Son, stop repeating what dad says. Why do you say those bad words? Well, you did a good job pooping earlier. You were pooping? Oh, peeing. He went peeing all on his own. 
while you're in the shower. He came in to announce it on the stream. That's very true. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't pick up any colorful words or phrases yesterday. Well, to be honest, Raph, we put him in the back room uh, watching a movie. Uh, no, he did. Oh, he did? Yeah, Ash came out and was like, oh, they saw my mask. Oh, what the hell are you wearing? <laughs> oh, my God. I was just excited that she could repeat it to tell on him. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I can't, dude. That's it. We just have, we just have a we just have a cursing family. That's it. That's 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 just how it's gonna happen. We just have a family that curses. Stop looking at me trying to find words to curse, son. Go watch TV. He's <laughs> like standing there waiting for the next word he can say. <laughs> uh, what you got, Dad? What you got? Hmm? Let's do it. Come uh, on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, uh, listen, I I do have a story, and it's a really is Ari still on the stream? It's a really really good one about Ari, uh, but I'm only gonna tell it when Ari's in voice, so she can be, so she has to be here for me to say it, uh, for me to tell it. It's good too, you guys. It's it's good, good. And it's it's one of those things that I'll be bringing up in like fifteen years. That's how good it is. Uh, uh, listen, I I do have a story. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. I bet. Uh, so you guys got that to look forward to, just like we have this to look forward to. Yeah, has it been called? Do you be saw forward before? Is this something they're doing for the digital presentation? I think it's a digital presentation. I don't remember. I mean, because I, I mean, last year, of course, it was just their E3 thing. Okay. Uh, what were you watching this at so I can be on, on the same? Twitch.tv slash Ubisoft. Looks like a new game going to be available on July 15th. Looks like it's going to be Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Ghost, Ghost Recon Breakpoint's been out for a minute. Yeah, I guess it has. They're like showing off some footage. I guess it was actually just the game itself, but there's something happening on June fifteenth. Oh, is the AI teammates available on June fifteenth? On July fifteenth, the AI. Did anybody? Teammates. Does anybody actually play that? Like, uh, didn't it the, launch? Didn't like, it launch like, and it was terrible. Probably. And and so nobody played it. I mean, I don't. I'm not. I'm not saying that to be facetious. I'm generally curious. I'm still like. I'm still trying to get through Wildlands. That's that's an insanely good game, and uh, I, I didn't want to start that because it's like a direct continuation. So I didn't want to start that until I finished Wildlands. But uh, I didn't Breakpoint end up being like really bad. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's because of the. Yeah, I think it really was. I know Arm uh, didn't that, uh, really didn't like it much. Yeah, Arm played the beta and was like. Ugh. Uh, Raph says when he goes back to school and leaves class and everyone says bye to the teacher, he's going to say bye, bitch. No, no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, it was bitch, yeah. bye. I know. I hope I hope not. Uh, see, the, the the problem is, right, he doesn't use curse words to, like, disrespect anybody. He just, like, they're just part of his vocabulary. Like when he sees someone crazy, what the hell? You know, like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit crazy, so... But another, uh, what is it? But another thing that's going to be going on during this is they're going to talk about uh, their, their new Battle Royale game, Hyperspace. That according to sources, uh, that Ubisoft is planning on launching Hyperspace to the public today uh, in open beta after the Ubisoft forward presentation. So... The open beta for the Hyperscape launch will be for PC only, with the console release scheduled for August. That includes PC and console crossplay. Oh dang! Oh, you think they'll announce Far Cry Six? Oh, most definitely. That picture was just like what? <laughs> uh, I was. Uh, I actually played Far Cry Five the other day. I forgot how creepy that game was. 
That game is especially in today's times. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it, you know what it remind me of? Uh, I watched that Waco, the Waco Texas thing. Um, I watched that special uh, a while back, and it reminded me of that. Prince of Persia or Riot? Raph, I, I think, I feel like Assassin's Creed was like the evolution of Prince of Persia, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I never yeah, really. That's probably the best way to look at it. I never really played that much Prince of Persia. I played the first one, um, but I didn't really play past that. I have the fucking triple pack on the PS3 still sealed, though, because I got it for like $5 at uh, Target. Um, but that's what I always felt like. I felt like Prince of, like Assassin's Creed is essentially like the spiritual successor, if you will, to Prince of Persia. I know. Yeah, it's just gonna be Assassin's Creed. So you get you get Prince of Valhalla, buddy. There you go. Yeah. Vikings. All right, we are one minute down. Before the sucker begins, and then right now they're just going off, uh, showing some clip highlights of different Ubisoft game that folks have like done badass trickery and shit. Okay, Stevie, no more Resident Evils instead of a new zombie game. Has to be played. Oh, I, okay, I didn't say that I agreed with it or I liked it or that's what I wanted. I'm just saying that like I think that's what happened. Okay. That's all I'm saying. If you also have amazing gameplay segments, I'm not. I'm not saying that it's a good thing. That that's what happened. The link display on right. screen right now. All right, guys, it is time for us to wrap I'm just saying, up I this think that's what happened. Don't forget to stay for keeping with the times and are now renaming Prince of Persia to Persian Prince. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching this pre-show and enjoy you Ubisoft to be Forge. Of Prince. All right, here we go, boys. It's game time. This is Ubisoft. Explore our world. Meet the devs. See the game. Oh yeah, they got that new God game that's supposed to be. Join us. They're gonna be working on too. Oh yeah. I can't believe For Honor is still going. Hi everyone, I'm Neelam Kumar, and I'm very excited to be co-hosting the first Ubisoft Forward with the talented Yusuf Magid. Today's show is all about getting up close and in-depth with all the exciting games we have in production here at Ubisoft. All right. I'm Yusuf, but there's no time to waste. So let's head straight for the streets of futuristic London and see what the hackers of Dead Set. All right, let's check this out. This is what I'm most looking forward to seeing more about. The illegal paintings spreading subversive and hostile messaging over the last few weeks across London are not the work of several people, as was originally believed, but the work of an individual. The criminal suspected to have links with the terrorist group of Dead Set is marked to be dangerous. So was the cop just robbing the store? I don't know. It's not actual in-game footage. Authorities recommend not to approach the individual. First, they came for the foreigners, and I did not speak out because I was not a foreigner. Then, they came for the protesters, and I did not speak out because I was not a protester. Oh shit! This looks good, dude. This is not then the gameplay. For the journalists. Oh, that's a good point. And I did not speak out because I was not a journalist. And then they came for street artists. But I did not speak out because I am not a street artist. Watch 
Star Legion's next flicks announcement. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'd watch it to be fair. Too big now. Yeah, you were dead, son. I realized that eventually they'd come for me. And there would be no one left to speak for me. Welcome to the resistance. There's a welcome gift for our new members. But the disappearance of the criminal. You could have told me it was a bloody costume party. Try it off. The new key suspect has been identified as David Ford, a 43-year-old London taxi driver. He has no criminal record, but is currently believed to be a terrorist. People have been asked not to approach him. The authorities advise all residents. Nice little film. Wow, that bummed me out. I was hoping that would be gameplay. Clint has been a longtime creative force here at Ubisoft, and now he's bringing this vision to Watch Dogs Legion. Um, so yeah, what we just saw was an amazing short film by the director Alberto Mielgo that uh, was inspired by Watch Dogs Legion and looks at, at the game and the universe and characters through his incredible uh, artistic vision and visual style. City Here we go. This is the gameplay, right? Like the film, yes. Watch Dogs Legion tells the story of ordinary heroes setting aside their differences in order to come together as a collective and to fight for a positive change. You can literally recruit and play anyone who you see in the open world. You profile people that are interesting to you, you help them with their problem, you play their origin mission. Just help me get some closure and I'll do whatever you want. Sounds like a dead sec problem. Leave it to us. And that's how you recruit them into your team. And then they become the heroes of the game and, and the stars of your story. And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Please, think more underground. You with Albion? I'm tickled, but think more underground. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. And they make the story <laughs> not only... <laughs> He's you know, going to kill That's actually pretty unique to unique cool. Player and, ...and personal to you because they're, you know, heroes that you've chosen and invested in. What would I say to fans? I guess I'd say, you know, uh, take care of yourselves, stay safe. Welcome to the Resistance. Ah, London town. A modern metropolis. Built on history and prosperity. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. Oh my god. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. With London under attack by a mysterious terrorist, the government turns to a private military company called Albion to keep everyone safe. What could possibly go wrong? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nigel Cass, CEO of Albion. He's kindly stepped up to establish order. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize this. He will stop at nothing to permanently control the city. London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Nigel's not the only opportunist who's taken a liking to this fair city. Meet Mary Kelly, head of the most powerful crime syndicate in London. 
be sure and spread the word. Hmm. She and her goons are using the dark web to sell everything from party pills to people. Whoa! This cop is weird. It's scary, I know, but I've got to keep yes. tracks on my merchandise, don't I? You made me a slave. You do not want to ruffle her feathers. Holy shit. With the city out on its ass, it now falls on you to build a resistance and take back London. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. Any of the brave Londoners you see walking the streets can be recruited into your team. Like him. <laughs> her. Or even her. <laughs> We're literally going to have to keep everyone her alive. Could become your next I know that. Secret <laughs> In our first mission, we need to get some dirt on Nigel. Oh Cash, man, okay. And that means okay. breaking into Albion headquarters inside the Tower of London. All the hardy souls you see here are people we have recruited from the streets of London. They all have unique abilities, and you're free to tackle this mission with whoever you like. Oh, and you can like change their outfits and stuff too. Mikey. I think so. Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. Oh, he's having a piss. <laughs> Like everyone in DeadSec, Arthur can hack pretty much whatever. But as a construction worker, he has a particular set of tools that make him handy. Okay, so depending on their job, like... He can even call his own cargo drone. Dude, this is... What? I'm, I'm into this, dude. I'm way into this. Perfect for gate crashing when you're not invited. And who needs a regular old gun when you have a bloody nail gun? No, fuck off. That's awesome. Uh, oh, dude, no. Rib. Oh. Uh, Aaron, that's taking a piss. Jesus Christ, what is that thing? Perhaps we could approach this mission differently. If you'd rather keep your distance, we've got you covered. Amy is a drone expert. What have we here? A real tech connoisseur. Hate spiders, but love this one. Oh, it's Aaron. Oh, there's a, there's a spider there's Aaron a spider. Aaron. Terrible, creepy crawler. Oh, shit. Here we are. Let's class the place up. Aaron's a out. <laughs> does have the unique ability to summon their own drone. This little darling is fast and stealthy. She aims, she fires, she hits. That's a face hugger. Yeah, you're right. I'm in drones. She can also hack enemy drones, turning the tide in her favor. And if you are not into direct confrontation, there are more ways than one to get the job done. Maybe Batman. Let's go. Oh, bro, it's Albion Recruiting contractor. Recruiting an Albion officer like Brielle here might That's be awesome, challenging, dude. but it'll get you inside restricted Holy Albion areas. Holy shit, heirs. dude. Don't mind me, just doing recon for a bunch of insurgents. However, do anything suspicious and she'll probably wind up with a bullet in the back of her head. You've been approved for entry. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. Oh no, oh! Oh shit! Criminals running our streets, illegals threatening our families, the police commissioner himself, assassinated by terrorists. Well, that seems to be the enough evidence. Stephen is out, you're right. <laughs> Next up, we're crashing Mary Kelly's organ farming operation and putting a stop to it. That's good. The buyers expect high quality stuff. And we need a hard nut for this. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Bags. Don't disturb me in my natural habitat. Say hello to Mickey. The man lives for his team. I put another air on my chest. And doesn't mind getting his hands <laughs> England dirty. England five, Germany one, Michael Owen is number one. <laughs> oh, listen, you're going to have to catch me not playing as Mickey. That, that's what's going to happen here. <laughs> a slight drinking problem, though. He's passed out. Damn it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you know what? Let's go with someone a bit more professional. Oh, excuse me. So you can essentially be Hitman. 
It's almost crass to call Oh, it sorry. I'm sorry, Ubisoft. Are they doing drops on the Ubisoft stream? I don't know. Some might even call him an artist. Uh, let's see. Log in and watch the show to get people to work. Watch one minute. Watch Dark 2 on PC. 20 minutes to leave you to Ubisoft. Uh, Watch our Legion Ubisoft Warrior Jacket. 30 minutes to the Here's the fast and responsible. And 40 minutes to the fast and responsible. Dusted. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Not well, everyone in London is a legendary assassin or a super spy, but everyone can be a hero. So get out there, find the best recruits, and build your resistance. It's time to take back London. It's time to take back London, bro. This looks good as shit. October 29th, folks. Plunging the player. Oh, I wonder if it'll be. I don't know if it'll city, have the upgrade with thing. Unique locales and characters has always been a central pillar of the Watch Dogs That's series. So what goes into building those worlds? Here's Amanda Mutt to tell us more. My name's Amanda Mutt. I'm a level artist on Watch Dogs Legion at Ubisoft Toronto. Being a level artist, I think, is the coolest job in video games because we do get the freedom to, to kind of like pick and <laughs> Instead, choose I'm gonna be old lady. <laughs> details we want to depict. And we get ample opportunities to tell the stories that we want to tell in the spaces that we're assigned to. I have the capacity to hide things and, you know, like small little Easter eggs. In AC Unity, there was a boat somewhere in the world that was covered in cats. And then it happened again in Watch Dogs 2, and there may or may not be something in London that is a boat filled with cats in some capacity. So. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to go to E3 last Dope. year. Some of the people that I was showing our demo to were from London, so no matter where I dropped them in the city, they would go, oh my god, this feels like Camden, this, you know, this feels like Southwark, this feels like Westminster. When people are talking about some detail that I've put into the world and they're excited about it, like that feels so good as somebody who, you know, builds these worlds with care. I love it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just not do anything with the Ubisoft website because I want my free copy of Watch Dogs 2 because I watched. So, all right, Brawlhalla. And now some news for Brawlhalla fans. In just a few weeks, you'll be able to battle it out with your favorite legends on iOS and Android devices. Oh, shit. Three, two, one, brawl! I, have you played this? I never really played it. I have played it. I mean, it is just a low-brow Smash Bros. It says low-brow free-to-play Smash Bros. This yeah, is the fun game. Crossovers are, na are, are just insane. Uh, answer what new lights did they get this time? I'm not sure. Uh, their newest one is and now, Ben 10. Whether you need a Tom Clancy action fix on the go or want to dive back into one of the most beloved fantasy franchises in gaming, we've got you covered. No might magic will never die. Join the battle! Never played it. 
I mean, I know it's on I uh, on Android. Air of Chaos. I have not played this. Any, has any of the chat played it? You guys like it? The target is being held on the ground floor. <laughs> Looks familiar. Oh damn! No, yeah, this is Butterspoon. The uh, Fortnite robot. Butterspoon. Contact. Mon train is down. Request air support. Target northeast rooftop. Roger. Inbound. Danger close. I need an EMP to block ah, now. EMP got him. <laughs> Get back in your cell. <gasps> Whoa. That's stop. Stop. That's that's Sam Fisher. Take this. And that's the dude Don't from Wildlands. Bro, they're like taking all of their uh, Tom what? Clancy characters and put them in this dope game, dude. That was Sam Fisher, and I can't remember the villain from Wildlands name, but that was the villain from Wildlands. Yeah. The community has never been stronger. In celebration of this milestone, just, Ubisoft Montreal has put together a special video up. to thank just all the amazing up. players and developers that have helped Siege become the game it is today. Re-register Tom Clancy's Elite Salt and... Registered. <laughs> In December 2015, a small team released Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, so if anyone though has played that Mar that Marvel uh, a Super game Squad built game, on a strong it vision. looks and plays exactly like that. Creativity, oh, really? Yeah, I'm and looking at play. it. And it looks like yeah, it plays kind of like that. This is going to be Ubisoft crossover with all their uh, products. You can also install it, and we will be here. That original vision was quickly adopted by our passionate community, propelling it to a whole new level. Oh my god! Whoa! I got it! I got it! This is such a special moment, and being at one year anniversary of Rainbow Six now, game being uh, stronger than ever, uh, more players today than we had in the past, it means uh, the world to us. But we also had our share of challenges. Um, health that touches upon subject like matchmaking, connectivity, all those aspects are absolutely critical to the experience of the player. Uh, Strike Force, Marvel Strike Force is why. Through it all, uh, the, yeah, the turn-based one, right? Driven by yeah. you, our community, and together, we grow stronger. There is no sequel plan, and we're here that. for the next ten years. So expect more Rainbow Six in your life for <laughs> quite some time. Hey, there's not social distancing happening here. Tous les succès, c'est vraiment le résultat de autant de nous que de vous. Ce jeu, il est autant le vôtre qu'il est le nôtre, nous l'équipe de développement. Now 60 million players strong. We're just getting started. We know one. We do. Chris the Agent plays this game on the regular. From the devs that build the game to the community that plays it, thank you. Play now, boys and girls. If you haven't tried it yet, dive into our new Operation Steel Wave update available now and take Ace and Malusi out for a spin. A few days ago, we introduced y'all to a brand new multiplayer shooter. Now, it's don't, time to venture into the hyperscape. Don't call it something. Just call it exactly the way it is. Call it New Battle Royale. So to get Watch Dogs 2, do you have to, like, log into something or you just have to watch it? No, so you have to make sure that your Ubisoft account and your account are 
hard. Oh, so you, shit. So you, so you have your drops enabled. I don't have that. I need to do that, I guess, huh? Yeah, go on Ubisoft. What was that? Uh, a you go... in the hyperscape. That's not supposed to be there. Well, let me get you all to speed. Okay? Oh, shit. Is there a story? About 30 years ago, everything that we feared about our future started to come true. We made some good decisions. We made some bad decisions. <laughs> Actually, we made a lot of bad decisions. Whoa! So, here we are. Ten billion souls living in the crush of the megacities. But the people at Prisma <laughs> changed everything. I, I was I was on the site. What's this for? They gave everything. This is hyperscape. Way out. Apparently, it has a story. Okay. The hyperscape. Nice. In the hyperscape, the biggest draw by far is Crown Rush. This is where anyone can become someone. <laughs> that was me. Okay. First kill, baby. Uh, D linked it uh, for you there in the chat. Thanks, buddy. If you get good at Crown Rush, it can change your life. But strange things have been happening lately. Rumors of people getting hurt. Users disappearing from the real world. Oh shit. A darker secret lies at the heart of Hyperscape. And we have to find it. Do a battle royale game? Some of us are searching for a way up. Some of us for a way out. And for others, a new way altogether. That's what brings us to the edge of the future. To the Hyperscape. I'm JC, Creative Director on Hyperscape. JC's work on Far Cry Primal and multiple Prince of Persia titles has established him as a Oh, oh there's the Prince of Persia reference, Raph! Oh my god! Is, uh, we started uh, building it from They said it! Uh, seeing it grow, uh, adding ideas uh, is really cool. Hello, contender. Welcome to the Hyperscape. The game takes place in 2054. It's in a future where humanity has grown a little darker. One of the, the companies there, they are launching what's called the hyperscape, which impressed. is the virtual world and the internet of the future. It's the place where everything converges. <laughs> uh, within the virtual world, there is a battle royale that takes place in the virtual city of Neo Arcadia. Yeah, so who gives a story to a battle royale? Who does that? Then we also introduce a lot of new things. You get the opportunity to do parkour on the rooftops, to go into interiors where it's much more narrow, much more stressful. Uh, you get to go to the landmarks where there's more uh, opportunity to get cool yep. items, but also more players, so it's a risk reward yep. kind of deal. How does it work? We introduce the notion of hacks, special abilities that you can pick up yeah, on the fly to adapt your tactics. With hacks, you can do things like uh, teleport yourself, uh, you can wrap yourself into a ball and uh, bounce around the battlefield. So a lot of abilities that let you have fun, that are toys that you can play with. And finally, it's made as a spectacle, so all the viewers will be able to interact with the game on different levels through the Twitch extension. So every few minutes, there's going to be a vote, and viewers will be able to decide what effect they want to affect the whole battle. So things like changing the gravity. Uh, That's awesome, ammo, that, the Twitch integration. Like that. So players, yeah, Twitch integration when this is happens, tight. really have to adapt to all kinds of stuff that is happening. So for me, it's really exciting because right now, as we speak, we are launching the open beta, and so it's going to be available for uh, free to play for all PC players worldwide. I uh, really want to thank all the uh, players, all the streamers, and all the viewers who participated in Tech Test and I'm who participated in the open games. Bit. Here's a short glimpse of what you can do. Nice! Expect. I think I'm going to miss out on Watch Dogs too, man. The site is just like loading and loading. It's not, nothing's working. I'm getting the same thing, man. Watch and learn how it's done. 
Yeah, they put a story with Hyperscape, but it's a story within a Battle Royale game that has nothing else to it. And that is, honestly, it's like, don't even give me the story. Let's show them what I'm made of. We have no anything to do with it. So with Hyperscape, for those who don't know, you are able to do, of course, it's a 99-person battle royale, you know, last man standing, but you can also do that with three-person squads as well, similar to how Apex Legends is. The game is also going to have a battle pass system to it as well. Here we go. So I know I only played a couple of games of it, and you know how much I love, love to lose. It's like my favorite thing. I'm probably going to... Uh, do some new stuff with it. I'm probably gonna give it a little more of a shot. Cause you know the bear the best play best thing to do, you have to try and uh Oh, it play. starts right now. Yep. Uh tomorrow. Oh I'm sorry, today July, is day the is digital tomorrow, world of the oh, has been gone. gave our artists and developers Same. incredible freedom when it came to designing characters. Production manager I have it Anna Maria already. Muska is going to take us behind the scenes of character design. I need you and Aurelius. I need my team. My name is Anna Maria Muska. Squad up, boys! I'm the production manager for characters and weapons on Hyperscape. We have paid an exceptional amount of detail to our characters. We switch different outfits, different fashion statements, different tattoos, different materials until we see them as real individuals, as real people. So the second you pick a character, you see them in game, you understand what their motivations are and what drives them and what challenges them. You going on it? This was the first lineup of characters. This is our default base, but even starting from the hair down, everything has been meticulously thought of. Would this person actually like this type There's of no outfit? There's no building or anything. Enjoy the type of tattoos that we're putting on. You don't them. have to build anything they in this game, Steven, like so we're, we're good. To be you don't have to destroy in this or that, that That's the most Each important season, thing. Each season, we plan to produce new outfits for these characters. So we're hoping some of our players are gonna so, see the so effort and maybe even correlate some of the more how this game even functions to too is that uh, you'll be able to go inside I'm the buildings. To you're gonna see like some orange holographics to it, and you have to shoot out those windows or doors or melee them in order to get As we inside. move into the next generation of gaming, your weapons Ubisoft that you're have been working closely with console makers will actually be to take advantage of if you all the, the extraordinary weapon. capabilities so you find, these new consoles will offer. You find the shotgun, now we have a special guest to tell us a little more. Hey everyone, Phil Spencer from Xbox. Oh shit, it's your buddy Phil! Oh, Phil! Dogs Legion, Ubisoft is supporting smart delivery. So you will get the absolute best version of the game on any version of Xbox you're playing on. On Series X, you'll get to take advantage of the amazing work okay, stop, the has done with DirectX right. ray tracing to create an absolutely immersive version of London like you've never seen before. Ubisoft has a unique ability to create immersive worlds, setting a new bar that continues to drive our industry forward. I'm a huge fan of Assassin's Creed. I love the time I've spent exploring the world in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I can't wait for you to see the gameplay from Assassin's Creed Valhalla that's coming up now. All right. We know you've been waiting to hear more about this game since it was announced back in April. And now it's time for a deep dive into the world of Vikings. My name is Julien Laferriere, and I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So a couple of weeks ago, we announced Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and the reaction from the fans was just amazing. The time period of Vikings is really, really inspiring. When we did our research, we found that, you know, there were not mindless barbarians. Vikings were actually farmers trying to find new lands for them to settle. And so they had really human motivations. So for us to have this opportunity to tell kind of the real story about Vikings and kind of separate ourselves from the myths and the folklore is really something that drove us to, to make this game. The team went to Norway and England to take the same roads that the Vikings did to really experience what it meant to be a Viking at that time. <laughs> and then cool. leaving Norway, which is like, hey, let's take a company retreat. And just coming by, by the way, this is still a work in thing. England <laughs> and see those rolling green hills full of sheep, full of life, is just this moment that most likely the Vikings felt as well. You need to see this land of opportunity. And this is exactly the feeling we want players to experience in this game. 
It is a personal adventure, you know? It is the story of Eivor, a Viking chieftain. Eivor is uh, either a male or a female. You decide when you start the game. Wow. They will have That's, to leave that was Norway to settle a dope in ass transition. Because you just can't live in Norway anymore. There's too much political pressure, no resources available. Obviously, in England, it's full of Anglo-Saxons and other people, and they don't really want you there. So you will have to fight your way there, kind of build your own settlement and see your clan prosper. Vikings were brutal warriors. Shields! And the fact that they were mastering a lot of weapons coming from the medieval times really inspired us to kind of revamp the fight system. To leverage the brutality and the intensity of Viking combat. Vikings were not only fighting face to face, they were masters of stealth and deception when needed. They used basically any sort of tactics they could use to win the battle. So we want to portray the full range of I'm combat sorry. that I'm you can imagine old. coming from the Vikings. 35 years old. Never in my life have I heard of Viking being stealthy. We are I don't very know. happy to finally be able to show you the game we've all been working on. So please enjoy this deep dive into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you will relive the epic saga of the Viking invasion of England. Strong boat. You play as Eivor, no, a Viking from Norway, who will lead his or her battle-hardened warriors across the North Sea to the British Isles. Eivor is driven by an ambitious goal, to build a thriving Norse settlement in a hostile land. For the good of our clan, it's time we go about it. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. No, it's Series X. It's just a, a big thing about it. Of broken kingdoms yeah, he's and warring dynasties. But it's also of opportunity and riches. As you prowl England's rivers by longship, you may raid locations you spot from the shoreline. Raiding, holy Ground hell. your ship and blow your horn to lead your raiding crew into battle. This. Oh my god, this is such a building of fire. This is awesome. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game in a long time. I still need to finish Syndicate. But this one has like Your crew will assist you in all your raids. My uh fighting enemies. Battering down doors. Uh, and stealing cargo too heavy for one. That's me interested. My interest peaked is what the hell I was trying Whatever to say. The riches there. and resources you pillage may be used to develop your settlement, giving you access to useful services, better tools, and new settlers. At the heart of your settlement is the Alliance map. It will serve as a record of the allies you have made, and a guide for future opportunities. The Viking Age was a time of warriors and legends. In Valhalla, you will find the largest variety of enemies ever assembled in an Assassin's Creed game. Damn! Yeah, Every shoot him in the knee, yeah. offers a unique challenge. Mm. Some will coordinate with their allies for special attacks, while others will use nearby objects to their advantage, including the bodies of fallen warriors. Damn. To face these attacks, you must find and exploit your opponent's weaknesses to gain the upper hand. Take the fight to your foes with a host of brutal new combat abilities. Snare them with a Viking harpoon. Whoa! Pummel them with throwing axes. Incapacitate them with the new stun system to keep them at a distance, or finish them off. Dual wield any two weapons you wish to unleash a deadly combination of attacks. Customize your fighting style as you see fit, and become a legendary know, right? Viking warrior. Stomp! Don't forget to leave. All combinations of weapons are available to dual wield, including two shields. <laughs> this, 
Beat everybody's ass with a couple of shields. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Not all situations call for violence. Yeah, In this new land, a Viking <laughs> must find a way to adapt. As Eivor is not welcome in England, you may need to outsmart your enemies, avoiding unwanted attention in towns and bustling cities. Use Eivor's hood and cloak to blend with crowds, and slip past watchful eyes, an unseen hunter among the people. Whoops, Stephen, we failed. I know. From capital no, cities yeah. and villages, to the dense forests I and tried. hills of England. Last about 10 seconds. Exploration is vital to keeping yourself sharp. You must feed off the land if you hope to endure. Hunt and forage to replenish your health and fortify hey. your equipment. Oh, that was me playing the game. The dog Search got me. Temples and Roman ruins for new activities hey. and challenges to strengthen yourself and your settlement. The more you explore, the more of England's secrets you will reveal. King Arthur. Show no mercy. But as you push deeper into England, the enemy will push back. In a series of climactic moments, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will feature massive assaults in which you will lead Eivor's army into battle against heavily guarded Saxon fortresses. Today we will reclaim her. Today we fight for your land, and tomorrow we rebuild. For Istanbul. For Istanbul. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will transport you to wondrous and haunted lands inspired by Norse myths. And England's pagan roots. It will challenge and surprise. Thank you, man. With unforgettable characters, thrilling triumphs, and tragic losses, giving you the chance to live your own Viking saga. Oh, heavens! Mortal Kombat! I know. Yeah, they definitely, uh, they turned it, uh, they kicked it up a notch. Bam! Bam! November 17th, the launch day for the Xbox Series X. Ninth century England is truly <laughs> know, unlike right? anything the franchise has seen before. Assassin's Creed Valhalla were released this holiday season on Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Stadia. Stadia. Requesting our today, before <laughs> okay. we go, our CEO Eve Gimo is here to share a few words. I hope you will have enjoyed Yay! what you have seen today, and that you will love playing these games. I am proud of our teams for delivering an ambitious, broad, and creative lineup of games. See you know back who we there. won't hear and from. And we haven't shown you everything yet. In fact, we have a lot more to come. So you will have another Ubisoft forward to reveal even more about our upcoming games. But before ending this show, we have one more thing to share with you. What's that? They always do. One more thing. Skull and Bones. Give me Skull and Bones. Give me Skull and Bones, you sons of bitches. I think it might be. Maybe. <gasps> oh, there it is, boy. There it is. There it is. Oh, no. It's Far Cry 6. <laughs> got him. You just got your baited. <laughs> Guys, why'd you do this to me, man? Why? Maybe breaking bad if we get it. Oh, snap. Yeah, he, uh, he plays the villain. That's awesome. Did you not? Did you not see the box cover? No, I didn't. 
Oh man. Yeah, folks are saying that this is like the prequel to Far Cry 3. Oh, really? Yeah, because like the little kid has the same scar as the dude on the cover for Far Cry 3. Oh, I mean, that was he was a ridiculous ass villain, dude. Oh, it, it, is that supposed to be him? Yeah. Oh, it looks like him a little bit. It's beautiful, Nigo. Perfect, but useless. I have something Rude. for you, Diego. Give me your hands. Papa. Now, the grenade is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. What are you doing? The pin simply holds the handle in place. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes boom. Follow me. Uh, do I keep this? No. I am El Presidente. Which means that someday, you will be our president. And our people, they do not know how to be happy. They are torn uh -oh. apart by opinions, noise, indecision, strangled by their own freedoms. And even if you have love in your heart, even if you want what's best for them, if you only want to save them from themselves, You did. Everything you say, do, believe. Oh, damn. You'd be wrong. Fuck. He's gonna get the throat into the crowd, dude. They will answer you with screams. Call you evil. And give you this. So you tell me, are you evil? Are you a monster? Because our country is like this grenade, except it has two basic parts. Our people. And you. And you must clutch them nice and tight. Yes, yeah, the guy from Breaking Bad. We all go. AKA, uh, boom. Monticello. Maybe. Look, when you play a good bad guy, you play a good bad guy. There's no doubt about it. That's true. And with that, we're wrapping up our first Ubisoft Forward. Today, we've seen the next generation of Assassin's Creed, the birth of a resistance in Watch Dogs Legion, the cyber chaos of Hyperscape, and the epic reveal of Far Cry's newest installment, along with so much more. Remember, We'll be back later this year with another Ubisoft Forward filled with tons of game news and updates. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, sure.
I finally got the link to work, and it's probably gonna be less than a minute. Now. Hey everyone, okay. welcome to the Ubisoft Forward post show. My name is Yusuf McGee, and so they're just gonna uh, basically go over a post show of the Assassin's Creed stuff. So, right, no skull and bones. So, is the game just canceled? You just want to tell me it's canceled? I'll be okay if you just want to tell me it's canceled. I would like to at least hear news. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't think you'll, you'll you'll be okay though. I don't, I don't. <laughs> I'll be just hardened that it's that it's canceled, but I at least need to know just so i can stop looking forward for it every year you know it's like we cancel skull and bones so we could do valhalla cool deal no skull and bones ever happening i can leave it to die now like fuck man i know i i'm sorry buddy i was i was looking forward to it for you uh let's, let's do a little is okay we're gonna do this is skull and bones canceled i'm just gonna that's the first thing that comes up on fucking google uh, is Skull and Bones canceled? No. While Skull and Bones has numerous delays alongside multiple other Ubisoft titles, Ubisoft has, has confirmed that Skull and Bones is still in active develop, development. Um, and this was three days ago. So this is not a, a post of three days ago. Okay. Um, so it is still in active development. Um, maybe they shifted from generation to generation. I don't know, man. Like... Um, and they did say there's another Ubisoft Ford coming at the end of the year. Maybe may, maybe this Ford was dedicated to everything that is uh, close to coming out, right? Like uh, we did like Assassin's Creed and right. the, um, and uh, um, um, the Watchdog Legion. It's all stuff that's coming out within the next few months. So I, you know. Oh, but they got the audacity to drop us a teaser for Far Cry 6. Just saying. Well, that, that's true. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right about that. I mean, we don't know the release date on that at all, right? It's just just been announced. February 18th, um, 2020. Well, that's still, that's still. Did I miss that at the end? I was fucking with the uh, Ubisoft drop stuff. I'm sorry, um, <laughs> I missed that. But still, like, if February 18th, it's still within the next few months. That, that to me says uh, we're not going to be touching Skull and Bones to like probably the end of next year. Unfortunately, uh, one person working on it says Sue, maybe. Um, or just forget about it when it gets revealed. You get super happy. I, it, that's impossible to do, Denny. Like once it's in your brain, it's in your brain. You know what I mean? Like you can't drop it out. Uh, Ryan says, didn't didn't they say though that it would be late twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two before it releases? I'm not sure. I have to be no, honest. I don't you, remember them you... giving a date like that. Yeah, I mean maybe, but I don't. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember that. Uh, it, it possibly they could have said it. Um, I mean, you know what? I mean, as long. I mean, three days ago, we at least know they're still in active de active development. I mean, it's not like they were going to do the closed beta in two weeks and decide to just push that shit back to spring 2021. You know, thanks, thanks, Amazon. Yo, I haven't watched your your VOD yet on that. How are you doing, buddy? You doing okay? No. Still not doing okay. I'm sure we're going to have a long talk about it on Wednesday, but... Uh... Uh, I'll show this on stream. Ubisoft just posted it. What is this? Let me take a look at it. Oh, it said it just says, "Don't worry, we'll oh. be giving out all the giving out the rewards to all of you, even if you were unable to log in successfully. Sit back and enjoy the show." <laughs> Thank you. They had to put that out because I'm sure that uh, Twitter was lit up, right? Like everybody's like, <gasps> "I want my free shit!" Like especially a game like Watch Dogs, if you've never played it, like that's a full fucking free game. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't know how dope uh, Division 2 apparel cache and keepbacks are, but, you know, I like dry, playing dress-up in games. So, to me, that would be uh, – that's meaningful. I might even I go – but I actually – I mean, I own that game still. I, got, I remember I bought it, Division 2. You know where it won't play well? This PC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still salty about my PC in case you guys haven't noticed. Um uh, well, you know, I, I take that back. It plays okay, but it, it's uh, it's literally unstreamable, like many other games on this shit. Uh, anyway, um, let's see. And there's a Watchdog Legion in-game jacket. So that's, I mean, it's pretty dope. Um, and then the Valhalla Axe. Uh, dope. Free stuff is free stuff. I love DLC stuff, uh, especially free ones. <laughs> so. Uh... <laughs> hashtag shade yeah he's he's upset uh but we love him 
and we'll get through this. And just think about it. You know, this year was trash, but next year, come on, next year is going to be dope, right? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I would be I'd be very upset. Like, like like I couldn't imagine being like, okay, REA is releasing in three weeks, and then being like, just kidding, REA is coming out this time next year. I, I just want to I I I would yeah. I would go yeah. I would go dark for about a week. <laughs> like it was funny because I told Carlin that and. You know, because you know, wanting some, wanting at least a little sympathy, and had to talk about it to someone, and she just replies back, "It's like this is what you're depressed about, not black injustice, systematic racism, Donald Trump. This, this is what you get depressed about." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah COVID, the whole thing. It's <laughs> like you haven't been depressed about anything, and now this is what sets your depression." Yeah. Kinda. You can't help your feelings, okay? That's why I tell her all the time. I can't help that I feel this way. Yeah, I have feelings. Oh, she's silently <laughs> judging me. I bet. <laughs> uh, to, don't we always say that just in general? What about 2020 being shit? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Avengers didn't let us down yet. Only one delay. Uh, so far. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So far, uh, Avengers let me down on the fact that like only a few missions are co-op. I can't play the whole game, my friends. That let me down. Um, it still looks really good though, but like I'm I'm kind of butthurt about that. Uh, <laughs> hooked on a feeling. Da, da, da. I, I probably did that wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, so okay, what do you so, think? Uh, so first, Watch Dogs Legion, the third game in the franchise. I was kind of excited for Watch Dog Legion after watching that gameplay stuff and like building your fucking team and stuff. Uh, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of into it and like each character having like uh, their own way of doing things, like like their own abilities and stuff. Like that is really dope. Um, I think that kind of gets me over the, what I talked about in the beginning of the show about uh, my whole focus on one character thing. Uh, yes. I think I'm okay with it. Uh, I think I'm okay. I, I could see myself like uh, failing over and over again with one person and being like, "All right, we're switching people to see how well I do with this one," and then like failing on that person again and realizing that it's just me being a bad gamer as compared to like uh, a better person for the job. Do remember, like, so if you fail the mission and that character gets killed, that character is killed. Yes, you won't have her. You won't have her back unless you, you know. Load save progress, Steven. Co carnage. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so all those folks all those folks that want to play with that old lady, don't get her killed. Do not get her killed. <laughs> Stevie's gonna get the entire world killed, damn it. Uh they they haven't said anything about multiplayer yet. Um, and I don't think there's going to be. It didn't seem that way. I think that if there yeah. were multiplayer elements, they would have talked about it then, right? Right then. Um, yeah. Watch Dogs has always been a single player game. I don't. I don't think they're uh, they're swapping it up, right? I, I think, think if anything, it's probably would have been a cool idea to bring in uh, the co op. Yes. Uh, the whole like each person having different abilities because of their job IRL. Reminds me a little bit of RE Outbreak. I don't I don't think you ever played that, but like uh there was like eight different survivors and like there was a construction worker and a cop and uh and like a journalist uh that was good at lock picking, like they all had their own different abilities that uh you could pick through and stuff. Um that was pretty dope. So uh I like that aspect of it. Um Aaron Seam is going to be called the Golden Girls. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um I like that you can recruit almost everybody. It seemed like I don't. I don't think you'd be able to recruit everybody. Uh, I think they have to be down for the cause, right? Yeah, you know, I mean that's probably what exactly I'm going to do. Maybe my first four hour stream is just walk around and it's like, all right, who wants to join the team? Who wants to join the team? <laughs> I'm not sure if like when you pick someone, they automatically just get uh, put into the group and you start the mission immediately. You know. <laughs> Betty White gonna wreck? Hell yeah. 
Hyperscape open ah. beta activate now. Not the Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I don't care about that shit. Oh, it's Ghost Recon Breakpoint free weekend. Where uh, well, where do we go to 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 download uh, the Hyperspace beta? Uh, you just go over to open up your local UPlay, and there's going to be a nice banner that says Hyperscape open beta play now. I have half a mind not to do it on this PC, but I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> only took half a mind that's right wait a minute <laughs> rude so yeah so uh so tom clancy's elite squad is coming to mobile on august 27th which like i said it's just going to be a culmination of all the ubisoft products of i guess those who shoot guns maybe uh coming together in one little mobile game that almost feels similar to strike uh marvel strike force where you create a team and you just go out there and just do stuff just you level them up do missions of course there's going to be pvp involved for it um yeah watch dogs legion is launching on october 29th i super can't wait for it i i have watch dog one on epic game store now i'm getting next uh watch dog two on on you play whenever the free stuff comes in so it's like, yeah, man. Need have you this. ever played? Have you ever played any of them before? No, I haven't. I have not. Uh, I've almost finished Watch Dogs One on the Xbox, and then I'm gonna try Watch Dogs Two. Uh, Watch Dogs One is really good. Um, it's got a really good story. There's a lot of side stuff you can do, and I just decided to skip it because I want to get through the story. Uh, but it's, it's pretty cool. It's all about you know the the, the hacking verse. Uh, Steven gonna make a furry scene with all animal masks. I mean, that sounds like fun. Um, yeah, I mean, why not, right? Uh, let's see what else. Uh, really trying to think of all the stuff they actually talked about too. The hyperscape is okay. So they actually released. It looks like they released from two days ago the PC specs. Okay, so this is what you need. So for 720p, 30 frames per second, ultra low settings, and I'll actually. We'll switch it back over to that screen so you guys can see. Love it. <laughs> Perfect. We actually mute the stream. So yeah, as, as you're riding around the... the... Okay, so 720p, 30 frames per second. Your, well, for your CPU, GPU, RAM, VRAM, and your storage, you're looking at an I, uh, Intel uh, Core i5, 6600. Uh, oh, the, oh. Uh, an Intel HD 520 Gen 9 GPU, which literally means you can play this on a laptop. Uh, That's not bad. No. Uh, and again, this is this is like the ultra low settings. Uh, six gigs of RAM, two gigs of VRAM, and then thirty gigs of storage. And thirty gigs of storage is across the is across the board. 1080p, 60 frames, low settings. I core th uh, the Intel Core i3 3220 or an AMD FX 4130, the NVIDIA GTX 660, or the AMD Radeon HD 7870 graphics card, uh, 6 gigs of RAM, 3 gigs of VRAM. Um, now for the 1080p 60 frames high settings, okay, you need an Encore Intel i7 4790 or an AMD Ryzen 5 15, 1500X. Heavens. GTX 1660 Super or an AMD Radeon RX 480 graphics card, 8 gigs of RAM, 6 gigs of VRAM. Now, for the four, up to 4K, 60 frames per second, ultra-high oh, settings. Oh, 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 oh. Intel Core i9-7900, AMD Ryzen 5 Pro 3600, the, uh, for the NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super, AMD Radeon RX 57 XT for your graphics card, 16 gigs of RAM, 11 VRAM, and yeah, damn. Uh, please note that Windows 7 is not supported with Intel graphic graphic cards. Graphic cards and their drivers must support at least Vulkan 1.1. But it was kind of, it, for the hyper, hyperscape. It was kind of weird that they gave us a story of what's going on. It's like, hey, Ubisoft is good for their stories. But why for a Battle Royale game, is it going to have some PvE elements down the road? Like, we're actually going to have, like, to 
help the city somehow? Uh, I doubt it. I mean, maybe, but probably not. I doubt it too. I mean, and it's another. It's a new battle royale game coming out. I feel way too late in the game, to be honest. I mean, people are still playing Fortnite, but any new battle royale game that's been coming out, it has not stuck around. I mean, well, I mean, new... Apex Legends is pretty young, dude. Like Apex Legends is young. Apex Legends is actually probably still going on, and the and the reason I feel Apex Legends with e, uh, from Re, from Respawn jump got in there and they're still here is because of how it turned into a three man team, not a five. Not just one person team. It was a three person squad, and yeah, their how they handle the weapons and the abilities is pretty damn unique. And here comes now, basically almost folks are definitely gonna call it the Apex clone now with Hyperscape, and it's gonna feel kind of weird, you know? Yeah. Now Valorant. I mean, I guess it's just... yeah. Now now Valorant there comes into copying CS:GO, Counter Strike Global Offense. And global C has go is like old. That's like some very old stuff, but it's still here. Valorant taking it and updating it, putting it in their own. And of course, high res studios has rogue company. That's going to be in that same formula. It's like some of these, sometimes I just, it feels like you're just late in the game. And there's also a way you could think of it as it's either late in the game or it's going to be the resurgence of it because you could say that's like Battle Royales are now kind of dying out, and maybe Hyperscape could be that thing that boosts Battle Royales back up or something. But we could say that if Fortnite won't die. I mean, if Fortnite could die, then we could say it, but Fortnite is not going to die. They just got Sony money. No, no, yeah, they did. They just did get Sony money. <laughs> Rip all your, uh, your PlayStation exclusives. <laughs> But we'll talk about that on Wednesday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, man. Like, it really, it all depends on how uh, people take to it, right? That's if it's gonna last. It just matters if people people start streaming it and playing. I'm sure. I'm. I'm. Uh, I mean, there's no doubt, right? That some of the big streamers are gonna get a paycheck to uh, to stream it. Mm-hmm. Um. So we'll just have to see how it resonates. Uh, Sony, they bought Spider Man. No, they uh, they bought 30 percent ish of Epic. So uh, they're uh, <laughs> they're definitely in bed with Epic now. Um, but we'll see what comes of that. I guess we'll talk about it more though. Don't worry, DST. Tune in Wednesday. Uh, yeah, dude. It just it just depends on how the community the the battle royale community takes to it, right? If they enjoy it or not. I mean, battlegrounds is still going down, dude. Like people are still on that. Oh, yeah. PUBG, um, yeah. So, uh, I mean, it just depends. Like, uh, we'll have to get a hold of it. I mean, you've, you've played it and you've played apex, mm-hmm. which if you, if you, if someone was like Trex, which would you rather play apex or hyperspace? Which one are you going with? Uh, that's a hard, it's really a hard determination, to be honest, because, so that's where Hyperscape, I guess you could say, differs in Apex, because with Apex, you have different characters, they have their different abilities, right? With Hyperscape, all right. we're all normal people. You and I start off the same, but we get our abilities when we start the game, and we find them in crates. So we could open up a crate. My first crate could be I get a heal ability and I get an armor ability. You, you could get a, a wall ability that allows you to create this giant wall in front of you. or you can, And you could also get the ball ability that you get put into a ball and you can bounce around the map. Just bounce down the street and stuff. I like that. That sounds fun. It is pretty fun. So it's definitely... I think hyperscape can almost really be uh, on, a, on an even playing field, whereas Apex Legends, it really depends on how your group makeup is at the character select screen. So you can have a character that counters another character, whereas with hyperscape is you go out here and you have to find abilities, you have to find weapons that will counter what you think the other person is going to use. 
Like, and I was using a shotgun on my first time, and the shotgun was absolutely ripping stuff apart. But I got killed by folks who were using the grenade launcher from long range. Couldn't see him, but he was just popping stuff into the air. And even then, he also laid mines in some buildings that I was trying to go into. And I just hear the beep, like, what the fuck is... Oh, it's a mine. And I just get, and I get killed. So you're not really looking at Hyperscape, like, choosing which character you want to be. Your character that you choose is just how you want to look. It's going to be, when you jump into the game, looking for the specific abilities that you want to actually use. And the specific weapons you want to use. So I think Hyperscape will actually be more tuned to that kind of almost balanced kind of kind of feel to it. Whereas with Apex Legends, you have to really pick and pick what character you, or how character you want to play. Because there's actually tanks. There's going to be those who heal. There's going to be those who DPS. Hyperscape is look. I just have an I have a heal ability. I can heal myself and other people with my squad. So that's pretty cool too. That's true. Uh, Denny said the Verge states it's only only about 1.5. With the, okay, I was like, okay, th thanks, Captain. Correct. I, I I was we hadn't talked about that, so we have the numbers in front of me. I know that they gave them a bunch of money to join in. Like, okay, uh, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I said 30 percent earlier. Let me retract that and say 1.4 percent via the Verge from Denny. Captain, correcting me. I'm sorry, Denny. Shit. Uh, does two music play when you bounce around? I hope so. I hope so. I mean, what was the, what would be the point if it doesn't? Um, I don't know, man. I'm gonna try it out, and we'll we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Uh, I'm glad you got to, to play it first. You kind of had some experience with it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll talk to Ari and see if we get some going uh, next week. Yeah, just uh, just just give me the date. I uh, yeah, I'm there. Sweet. Well, there you go. Um, just saying, 1.4 per percent at, at less, but hold on. Just saying, one point four percent gives Epic a lot less pull on Sony than thirty percent. That's all I was saying. Well, I, I'm, I didn't say I, had, I didn't say anybody had pull with anybody. I'm just saying it's an avenue for Sony to put their exclusives out on the PC. Um, that's that, that's the only point I was trying to make with that. Uh, you too late, Jacob. Superman killed Batman because Lois died. <laughs> Damn it, DSD. Um, all right, what was next? What was after that? Um, after the 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 hyperspace. Uh, after hyperspace, so I didn't actually write any of this down. Um, oh, I mean, their their big games that they actually really talked about was uh, really just Watchdog. Sorry. Um, it's okay. Yeah, it was really just. You. Let me take a look again. I, I, I believe just, it was Assassin's Creed. I think they went to Assassin's yeah, that's the thing Creed. Yeah, it was Watchdogs first, then they talked about Hyperscape, then they talked about Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and then we went into Far Cry Six. I'm not thinking of any, I can't remember of any other game that I really missed besides like some teaser trailers, like for the Tom Clancy's Elite Squad mobile game. Right. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I'm probably going, I'm, I might get Assassin's Creed Valhalla at launch. Maybe. I just, I haven't played uh, Unity, which I might skip altogether because of the shit. I haven't played Syndicate. I haven't played. Uh, um origins and i own it uh i haven't played uh what was the last one uh odyssey odyssey you haven't played any of those man so it's like i i, I don't know I, I i would uh i would like to though i i wish i could just like have infinite time to play games and just play all those games. But the the Assassin's Creed games are so fucking long, dude. They're so long. Uh, which is good because long games are good, but it just it's just who like it's it's hard to have the time to play those games. Like I, I rarely do any gaming outside of the stream. Like I do some, but most of the time I'm playing a game it's live with you guys. So it's 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 uh it's different. Yeah, it's I still have Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, for some reason it's like showing up two times on my Ubisoft. Uh, one even actually says downloads. Like what? That's weird. Actually, they both say download. So maybe I actually did get rid of it. I don't know. Uh, I can't remember where I even got it from. 
but I got Syndicate and I played a little bit of it, but didn't get too far in because I kept failing this one mission, which is really yeah. yeah. That gets you, man. That's 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 like that's like your Achilles heel, bro. Yep. Uh, it is. But so I mean, never finished Syndicate. Laughing. Like I do like the old that uh, old timey England, and so boy. <laughs> but Syndicate was actually a pretty fun romp. Uh, it's just, of course, the stealthy games. Like I kind of do suck as like you have to. You have to follow this guy, and then you have to assassinate him when he's not in the crowd. It's like, okay, I'm going to follow him. Hey, are you following me? God damn it, how did he find me? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it just pissed me off. Um, I haven't even finished Black Flag. Like, I need to finish that. Yeah, and that's a, great, that's a great fucking game. Like, I just, I, I just, uh, uh, I think I'm near the end of it. But I, I don't know. I just get so sidetracked with life, man. These damn these damn kids you know what i'm saying like no well <laughs> it's, it's it's like play games or be a good father you know fuck uh <laughs> cockney right? aaron said yes just like that Aaron cockney. um that's trex's favorite voice uh and so when that voice is in game she's down for it uh i still need to finish the first two games i'm still on one oh, holy shit just get just, just give up dsd <laughs> just like, just Go play Prince of Persia. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, Prince of Persia franchise. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then, of course, the announcement for, for, for Far Cry 6. And it's dope that it's a prequel. All right, so I'm looking at the cover of Far Cry 3 now because I have my uh, my Uplay stuff open. And uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty dope. I, I don't... Uh, I, I don't. I, it's been so long since I played Far Cry Three. I don't remember much about the villain. I remember he was crazy, and like murdered a lot of my friends in the game. Spoilers. Um, well, that's why I'm not sure anything much about it because I didn't play Far Cry Three. But everyone on Twitter, when the when the cover leaked, I think it was either Thursday or Friday, when the cover leaked, everybody was like, "This is the dude from Far Cry Three. This is gonna be a prequel." And yeah, I like, like I guess was I'm psychic. about to go with you guys. It, it's a prequel. Yeah, and like Aaron said, he's like he was like a psychic in the game. So it's like are we gonna, are we gonna get the story of how he got his fucking powers? Like <laughs> I don't know. And are you gonna play as him? Like, is that what we're alluding to? Like I, I don't know. Uh because they never really gave that didn't really show like who you play as, right? Like they didn't really go into that. Yeah. So uh, I don't think you'd be playing as a kid, though. I think it'd be part of the narrative. Uh, Moff, Moff, oh, Moff, yes. Uh, you're not playing as him, though. He's the villain. Uh, at least Ubisoft isn't, isn't debating us by telling us Prince of Persia beta date. Then changing it to a month later, three weeks before it happens, and changing the release to almost a year later. Jesus, Ralph, Ralph, why you gotta, why you gotta take a nut shot, dude? Like that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a nut shot, dude. You, you had you, you're getting for them Trex nuts. That's that's, that's, that's rough. Um. The dark saber, yeah, uh, he, that's that's going to be the plot point. Is going after the dark saber the whole time. <laughs> uh, imagine if the game is you're the one to kill his father and set the guy on his evil path. To be honest, DST, uh, the way narratives go, you probably just figured it all out. Maybe you we probably, can retcon, we can retcon three. Whatever choices you make in this game will determine if Far Cry Three exists. And, and then, like, it goes back and just shows Homeboy and his friends having a nice vacation, and then they fly off, and nothing ever happens. Nothing ever happens. <laughs> That'd be funny. That one, Far Cry 3 was a good one. I liked Far Cry 3 a lot. I never, I actually never played 4. And 5 was really good, too. I didn't need to finish it. it so Darth Vader. <laughs> Close. Also, Morning to Narwin. Oh, Arwen, you wake up, you have a good sleep sleep. You have a good sleep, sleep, R when you get good rest. Oh, well, it's Monday morning for him now. It's you have a good you got you got a case of the Mondays, Arwen? You a good sleep, sleep. 
I only have played one. one. One was dope back in the day. Like, that was like the PC game to have way back when was the first Far Cry. That Far Cry 1 was my first introduction to PC shooters with, like, a mouse and a keyboard that I took seriously. Like, where I played, like, Doom and stuff, but, like, um, I played, like, a level of Doom. Like, Far Cry 1 was the first one where I sat down and played a game start to finish with a mouse and keyboard. And it was good. That was back when you had to load, like, six discs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that noise. Yeah, here they go. I still have my, uh, I, I don't know why I still have them, but I still have like the eight discs that came with Star Wars Galaxies back in the day. This now shut down MMO. It's all right. It meant well. It did a good job, but you know, KOTOR came out and they're like, nah, dog. Uh, two was Malaria Shots, three was Weed Flamethrower, four was Buzzed Asian. Five was cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, I, I I did play two. I remember the uh, the malaria shots. Heather actually got it for me for my birthday one year. Far Cry two. Um, I do remember the malaria shots all the time. Had con I was constantly giving myself malaria. And two. But well, that was the Ubisoft forward. It didn't really show off. It wasn't like a true. Really, it really wasn't a, a true like E3 Ubisoft showing all the things. Uh, I mean, honestly, it was like an hour long. Have the Ubis I think the Ubisoft conferences maybe have been actually an hour. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. So I mean, it definitely like CVB said, showed off all the games that were all coming out basically by the end of this year, and then of course a teaser for a game coming out next year. And yeah, it definitely went by pretty fast. Um, games that we're still waiting to hear more about is. Uh, of course, Skull and Bones, come on. <laughs> and there's got to be another Mario versus Rabbid game. We There has I don't to know. be another one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold your breath on that, bud, but maybe. It was too It was too cute. It was too cute, too cool. Was, come on. We need something that's cute. Well, it's also up to Nintendo, right? Because like, you're using all their assets. And... That is very true. So... Uh, they actually did get, show some information uh, for some other games during the pre-show as well, uh, like Ghost Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The new AI teammates will be launching on July fifteenth, so you have pro, so Ghost Recon folks can have something to look forward to there. Of course, the new update for Rainbow Six Siege is out with its two new operators. Uh, then, like, the Crew 2 has a new update coming out, uh, having new cars and such. So, And then Trackmania did release last week. So, there you go. Guess I'm going to try and get Breakpoint now. <laughs> Is it just free for this weekend? That's uh, almost break, over? Uh, for Breakpoint? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm looking yeah. at it right here. See if I can find the news. The you play sale is pretty good. I'll have to check it out. The Ubisoft store is currently unavailable. Oh, I got that too. <laughs> it's like some ago. Damn. Can y'all calm down, please? Oh, actually, let me kick it over here because they're actually showing off hyperscape, so. I can talk about it a little bit. I'll even unmute it. There's an hacks within them. Here now we've switched, so we're looking at Chimera instead. Uh, so oh, I mean, it doesn't matter. Going I'm going to be very bad at it regardless. Play. Oh, yes, very. Because, I mean, I, I'm bad at it too, so. Um, so it is very fast-paced. But yeah, you can see right there, like, the player is using the shotgun. But that motherfucker is using a Gatling gun. It's like, oh, we're just going to slide. See, I couldn't figure out how to get my melee weapon back. Because you can get, you have a melee weapon to start off with in the game. Which, oh my god, let me tell you this. This son of a bitch. I, we st the game starts, and we're gliding down like you normally do, like a parachute, but you're in a pod. Uh, I free cam and look to see there's a pod right behind me. I'm like, oh, he's going to the same place I am. Let me veer off course to go somewhere else. The fucker veered with me. I'm like, he's following you, dog. He's coming for you. Oh yeah, we land, we 
we get, we land, we spawn. He goes right, right for the throat, man. Just mailing me to death. It's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you can fight on the rooftops of buildings. Uh, you have abilities. So the abilities that he's using is one's armor, so you get an armor buff for a few seconds. And the other one is slam. So you'll be able to actually just land on that uh, person and just slam it down. Did I clip it? So uh, I have, uh, I'm pretty sure I have the full highlight of that whole thing. I think I haven't split it up yet, but I need to look at it again. But I definitely in my first game, I got uh, placed five with uh, three kills. Never again. It never happened again or again. <laughs> the only time I've ever won any kind of this game is when I was doing duos with Ari and PUBG. And I pretty much like, I was the bait. And I would run out and people would shoot at me and she would kill them and then she'd revive me. And then we just go from there. And that's how I we mean, did it's it. Not like, um, it's not like we, we need Ari with us, you know, carry us. I mean, I'm not I saying that at all. <laughs> Ari, you here? We need you. <laughs> Definitely fucking carries me, dude. Like, <laughs> so fucking everything. And then, and then she tries to, like, tell me how good. She's like, no, you're doing good in Call of Duty. I'm like, no, bitch, no I'm not. Like, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Call of Duty is your game. I was like, no, no, no. But thank you. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we end up here? No, I think that's basically it. Uh, I just didn't get my skull and bones like I wanted, so but they said there's gonna be another Ubisoft forward later this year. So hopefully we'll actually see more information about games coming out next year for twenty twenty one and on the horizon instead of games that were that are just not out just yet. Or that are actually sure. coming out for uh, later this year. Yeah, they got uh yeah, cause what is it? Watchdog Legions is October, then Valhalla is November launch date of the Xbox Series X. So yeah. So I mean, those are only two games really coming out for the uh for this year and quarter four. Ubisoft needs more weeb games. If Ubisoft wants to make my my uh my one piece MMO or my Naruto MMO, I'll talk to them. We'll do it. <laughs> we'll have a discussion with them. We'll have a discussion. Jared, that is already over. Oh yeah, man, it's been over. We're at the end of it, dude. Uh, it only lasted an hour. It was on Jacob, a three. Jacob blames you for not having anything on Discord. He wasn't notified. Oh shit! I'm. You guys listen. You can ask Trex. I rushed here. Okay. Uh, I, I like. I, I. I'm so sorry, you guys. I, I put it out on Facebook and Twitter while I was like on the fucking treadmill at the gym. Like I'm not even making that up. Like I thought you were actually home when you made that tweet. <laughs> No, I was, I was, I was like speed walking on a treadmill, like fuck, fuck, and like I kept making grammar mistakes. I had to keep like backspacing and stuff. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys. I apologize for that. If you ever uh, tried texting and walking at the same time, it sucked. It's it's rough, and I but I was just like, man, I gotta get these notifications out early, uh, so people because it's not a normal time. Um, and I did forget to tag at everyone in Discord, so I'm sorry, you guys. I apologize for that. Um. Uh, Trex maybe should apologize because he didn't do it either, but you know, I'm not gonna say that, so uh, I have nothing to apologize for. I have a bot that does that for me. <laughs> uh, did they drop the free watchdogs too? Uh, not yet. They did put out a notification that because the site was fucked up, Arwen. I don't know if you saw this, so bad. but they put it, yeah, they put out a notification saying that everyone is just gonna get everything, uh, <laughs> regardless of how long you watch, because yeah. I, I was sitting. <laughs> I was sitting here trying to log into it. It just it, it, the site was just fucking donezo. Yeah. Um, so the rewards that they were trying to give out: log in with your Ubisoft for your Twitch drops and watch the show to get these rewards. Watch one minute, you get Watch Dogs Two on PC. To watch twenty minutes, you get the Watch Dogs Legion Ubisoft Forward jacket. Watch thirty minutes, you get the Division Apparel Cash key pack. Uh, watch 40 minutes, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla Moonlight, which looks to be either a weapon or just a kind of bright enhancement. It doesn't really go too much into detail on what that one is. 
I think it's probably just an axe. It's called Moonlight. Yeah, it's a picture of an axe, so I'm assuming so. I think it did kind of last 40. Yeah, it lasted about like an hour. It was about an yeah, hour. Yeah, it was about an hour. So hopefully they give, you know, everybody all four things. Because that would be I think they are. That's all I got. You want to go ahead? Yes, we will end here. Uh, Okay, so we should hopefully be live uh, tomorrow night. Fingers crossed. Uh, I don't want to make any promises, though, because I don't know how well my PC is going to do with streaming. Um, I did get it all back up and running. Um, and to be honest, I, if, if I get the parts in and stuff like that, I might take the night to perform surgery on the computer. Um, stream but that. I will def say again, stream that stream that what well, I just said, I can't stream. You have a phone. So fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, you, have a I, you know, computer? I have. You know what I am looking into? Side note, I am looking into uh, the live stream apparatuses that people use to IRL live stream to use it con- for the next con we eventually fucking go to, whether whenever that may be. Um, like, you know, normally we just walk around with our phone, but there's actually, like, devices you can get that'll run run the stream. Um, a setup. I'll talk to you about it. Yeah, please do. Um, because you like there's different things where you, one thing's the camera another thing to like look at your chat and stuff so that way we can be live through, through a whole con um and just walking around and, and bs and you guys can watch us bs and have fun um anyway irregardless uh so hopefully we'll be live monday but i will i promise i'll notify you in the discord uh what happens uh whether we are or not i, I generally try to pimp the other streams that are live when we're not so um yeah, but don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter, at Nerds the Apoc. We're on Facebook, to search for Nerds of the Apocalypse. We're on Instagram, at Nerds of the Apoc. And we're on YouTube, Nerds of the Apocalypse. I'm on Twitter by myself, at StevieB5986. And I have my own Resident Evil-focused YouTube channel. Just search for StevieB and Resident Evil, because if you just search for StevieB, you'll get that dumbass pop singer. But don't worry. We'll beat him in the algorithm one day. <laughs> one day. We will. I swear to God, we will. Uh, so yeah, what about you, Trex? Where can we find you, good buddy? When's the next time you're streaming? Uh, I'll be streaming again on Tuesday. Uh, what I'll be streaming, I don't know just yet. We have a lot of DC Universe Online uh, test server stuff to really compile for the source wall. So it might just be another crash radio, just me writing articles. And while everybody uh, kind of just plays some rock music, anime music. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I will be streaming tomorrow, actually. Yes, I'm doing it. There's going to be a play test with the DCO developers, and I'm going oh, to nice. be uh, joining in on that for a little bit. Uh, I could have sworn it was like at like going to happen at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon Pacific time, not Eastern. So it's like, I don't, I don't get to leave work early. Darn. <laughs> I can just be at home by 6.30 and they'll start up just fine it's like fuck guess I'll be at work all day darn wait why am I getting Stevie weaved I mean technically Final Fantasy is anime especially 14 Very. on my trip to Ari's I was playing 8 just playing the card game so I could make myself like super OP still I'm still in the first area trying to make myself unbeatable. <laughs> um, all right, sweet. There you go. Uh, and uh, we'll definitely be back on Wednesday because, you know, Trex <laughs> runs those uh, for another Nota Game Report. But we will discuss things from Trex's uh, de- de- depressing defeat <laughs> when it comes to trying to play MMOs. <laughs> new ones anyway and uh and the uh epic the sony purchasing a little piece of epic and what that means possibly for the future so we got that coming up there you go uh is trex going to stream now i i don't think so i you didn't say that you're not are you going to stream today anymore um 
Harlan's at work. I mean, she's only gonna be gone for maybe a couple of hours. I um, I, I guess I could. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and just do some hyperscape stuff while I'm just chilling. That'd be good. Uh, I, I I promised the fam that I would go watch Hamilton, so that would be uh, that'd be pretty fun. <gasps> I'm telling you I right now, him. you can't make a period joke. You can't make a period joke. I have heard a lot of the songs because Heather's been listening to them like in the car and stuff. Um, and definitely the 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 song The King. The King oh, of song. King that George. Is, that is uh You'll that's, that's be a... back. Yes, dude. That that <laughs> I like that one a lot. So. Um, you can uh, do Steve, that? <laughs> Stevie promised he's gonna watch Amaranth. No Hamilton, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! I don't have to promise anyone I'll do that. I just go and do that. And let her whisper in my ear with her ASMR streams. Anyway, thanks everybody for hanging out tonight. I'm of course Stevie B, and this beautiful Mocha man is Trex. Trex, and he will be live in just a minute, trying out some hyperspace until his lady comes home. Uh, so check that out. Uh, and of course, we are Nerds of the Apocalypse. And we're out. We love you guys. Mwah! Uh, Jacob, I can't do a raid. I can't, what raid Trex? He's not live yet. The hell? <laughs> yeah, I can't raid Trex. It, it'll Trex on the top of our host list, so it'll instantly start hosting him. Uh, raid. <laughs> Thank you for the stream. You're very welcome, DSD. Uh, we're raiding Trex. Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Go to twitch.tv slash Trexlight <laughs> right now. Do it. It'll be it'll be an easy transition. Just give me like five minutes. Yeah, he's got to have a pee pee and stuff, and grab a snacky snack. Uh, we're all showing up at Trex's house. No, that's a danger zone, man. You don't want to. <laughs> you bust your ass showing up at Trex's house, man. You, you, you got to have plus fifty to agility going to Trex's house, okay? Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, that's not, I don't yeah. know. Oh, that's my oh. I did clip something. I don't know why I clipped. What did you clip? I don't know. Uh, it says whoops, something went wrong. I think it was it's a fake clip. Jesus. Like, anyway, you know, there was I clipped something. I think it was because you did something funny. Oh, I mean, I, that's that's you know, every I stream, think, buddy. Think, you got to be more to specific. I think I tripped uh, clipped uh, Obi going pee pee. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. No, I was trying to uh, paste the uh, paste the highlight of uh, of your fall. Because you know not everyone has seen it. Good. <laughs> Bye, folks. It was good, and we love you. Mwah.